guys, it's PJ, and today we have the mystery unboxing. What happened was, um, over the course of um, Christmas, Sabbath Box shut down, and um, so we missed a couple boxes. But when I got my first box from them coming back, which was the, one, the last one I did, this one, oh, this one came as well. So I have no idea what it is, but we opened it up at the end of that video just to see if it was the same. I thought maybe they sent me two and I was going to do a giveaway, but nope, the color's different. So now I had already done this part, so you don't have to go through me with wielding knives. Yay! I have no idea what this is. This is... Blooming Prosterity. Oh, it's Ostar box theme. Okay, so this is Bloom. Maybe they did give me this. is Blooming Prosperity. So this, again, is another spring box. And I got them on the same day. So go figure. There's the little taggy they made. Oh, so cute. What was the last one? I can't remember now. All right, so let's open it. Oh, here, we'll open it. Let's open it together. Ready? Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Ba -da. Ooh, big stuff. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. Where's my cheat sheet? I showed it to you already. I'm an idiot. Okay, so these are not coupons. Great. Okay, so let's see what we got. We'll use our cheat sheet. We'll use our cheat sheet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so da, 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 da. this is the biggest thing I saw coming in. Boom, I wonder what could it be? It says prosperity kit. Oh my god, I have no glasses on. I start these videos sometimes and I'm like, I don't have any glasses on, I don't have a knife, I don't have any scissors because I'm not prepared. Okay. You're like, how do you run a fucking company? I don't know. You should see my desk. That's out. Barber. This says prosperity kit. Oh man, this is good. This is good. Prosperity. I need it all. All evil done to me comes back as my prosperity. Okay. Oh. And inside is this. This, this, and this. Okay, let's see what it says. For luck and prosperity, combine the coin. This What coin? I didn't see a coin. Did you see a coin? Did it fall? This says, instructions. For luck and prosperity, combine the coin, the stone, and herbs in the bag. Feel free to add additional money, drawing herbs, or items of your choosing. Say small blessings over the bag. Luck and prosperity come my way. And wear it on your body or hang it in your home. Activate by squeezing the bag, recharging under a full moon. Ooh, inside this is alpha spearmint and chamomile, green advent adventuring stone, and an I Ching coin. Look at this coin is really kind of cool. Can you see? Wait, I'm so bad at this. My hands don't work either in the morning. So, I got a coin, a stone, and a prosperity bag. I've made prosperity bags. I'm. Oh, you saw. I made prosperity boxes. I love stuff with prosperity because everybody needs that. Like, you might not want love. Like, you might... Oh, my God. Stop dropping things. You might not want, like, love or this or that, but... There ain't a soul in the world that doesn't need prosperity. So here we go. Abundance is here. That's cool. I'm going to play with that. Oh, let's put the little thing back in it. And this is by Anjou's. Oh, wait. Like, some of their companies are the same, but I love their stuff. So. Good Adam. All right. Next, I have this. And this is heavy. And I have no idea. <laughs> so, oh wait, why they chose it, Bob? Why they choose it? 
All right, the why we chose it. Mojo bags, also known as charm bags or sachets, as they are often re referred to in various pasts. Sachets, satchels, I'm so stupid. Um, are an old form magic that practitioners have used for centuries. The kits we have included in your seven box can be used as complete spells by itself or can be added, blah, 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 blah. And that's why they chose it, it sounds so cool. Next, let's get this baggie up, y'all. This pretty bag. It, this is heavy. Whatever this is, this weighs a ton for a little dense thing. Oh, it's a stone. Ooh. Ooh. Look. <sighs> Magical. Why'd they chase it? Chose it, Bob. Why they chose it, Bob? Let's see. Oh, here we go. This is a pyrite chunk, aka fool's gold crystal set with info card and bag. Where's the fool's gold info card? I got the bag. Oh, look what else is in there. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. Oh, come on, come on, fingers. My fingers. One day I can't do this with my fingers no more. Look at that. It's a little little four-leaf clover, a little, little Irish charm. That's in this bag as well. But it says with a card. And I did not see a card, so let me look. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. There's two big cards. Look at this, though. How beautiful is that? Look at how the light hits it. Man, I could meditate on this thing. All right, Fool's Gold. I've never had Fool's Gold before. Okay, so I have two cards, Pyrate Chunks. So here is the card, and here is the instructions. So let's read this. Planet Mars, Fire, Leo Aries, Solar Plexus, Sacral for the Chakra, and, well, actually Solar Plexus below your bubs, and Goddess is Persephone. Pirate is also known as full gold. It's a type of iron sulfite abundant in Europe and Asia. It is brassy, pale yellow stone, often found near gold. The word the world pi, the word pirate comes from the Greek word pi, which means fire. It's most likely received its name since it was created sparks. Oh, it creates sparks when struck with another metallic object. Wow. Okay, so why did they choose that? Although that can't kind of seems self-evident, right? Right. Okay, why we chose it, Bob? This is from Sabbath Box. And if I didn't mention before, the prosperity bags were from Light of Anjou. Why we chose it? This is straight from Sabbath Box, though. Um, Fool's Gold is an iron mineral, along with magic and workings pertaining to prosperity financing. So it only seems natural to include a beautiful specimen within each of your prosperity-centered Sabbath Boxes. It's not real gold, but it's found in formations where gold is nearby. See info card for more. I love this. I just love the how the light hits it. That's just freaking awesome. And the beautiful card that came with it. I love the color of all of, like I like all the scroll work on these cards today. Today, next, we have some incense. This is called Wise Owl incense and its blooming prosperity promotes instills abundance prosperity awakening rebirth balance fertility body and mind blossoming fruitful experiences and opportunities coming your way oh it smells heavenly oh my god okay why did they choose that bob why we chose it by the way this is from charmed at Okay, Sortillage by Charm et Sortillage. Okay, why we chose it. With our focus on spring and fertility, financial growth and abundance with this austere, we wanted to include something that would be able to invoke these energies of emergence, renewal, and spring while also complementing other items um, inside. So I love it. And it smells like heaven next and I think I'm going to guess it's a beeswax candle it feels like a beeswax candle 
And if it is, I'm not going to unwrap it all the way unless it's so special. Well, maybe I am. Maybe I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm going to unwrap it all the way. Ooh, okay. So this says, um, success and prosperity. I love beeswax candles. They're so cool. And you can, uh, the cool thing about them is, see how they're rolled? You can take oil and just drip it down through. And then as it burns, like the oil will burn. It's real, just like little drops don't like pour oil in it. You have a fire. Okay, so why did they chose it? Why they chose it? Why they chose it? Why we chose it? Bees are an industrial bunch. And what better material to create a prosperity-focused candle than beeswax? These vi vibrant prosperity candles are great additions to any money spell or ritual. We included them as a simple way to focus your intent or will on your economic growth. Economic growth, you yeah. okay? Last, and I think this is last. Yes, is this great big bag? Oh, and it's it's a squishy. Okay, it's got stuff on it. Okay, let's see what what's in here. This is the big one. This is the big one. Oh, okay. Unlock this thing, please. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what is it? I have no idea. Ooh, ooh. I think it's a statue. It's a statue. It's another goddess statue, I think. Oh, I love this one. I have my other one out in the kitchen. Well, I have a couple of them, but that, uh, the other one I love, the green one, is out in the kitchen. Wow, 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 wow. Rebirth, birth, birth, do you see? How cool is that? That is all about birth, guys. See the motherhood? The breasts are like, you know, filled. Let's read about it. Ooh, so cool. This is um, Spring Goddess, Altair Statuary with gold accents. Why we choose it? And that is by Eclectic Gardison. Did I tell you who the candle was by? Lelokian Owen is who the candle was by. Okay, wait. There's something else in this box. Oh, there is. We got another gift after this -y. Okay, why we chose it? God and goddesses have long played an extremely important role within our religion and spiritual practices. Even going all the way back to the earliest roots, history show that that our pagan ancestors would uh, honor various architects and deities, more specifically during spring and the start of planting season. It was mother-like fertility goddess. I knew that's what it was. And divine feminine archetype figures that would receive abundance of attention as they were viewed as the quintessentialness of our existence, the givers of life, the bearer of breath and birth. That's awesome. Okay, and that's what I said. This is this is definitely like spring, rebirth, all that stuff. You can see it just in the statue. In this it basically in the way the statue is created. Here's the other thing, you can make your own. You don't have to, like, like this is great and all, <clears throat> but if you um, ever want to do any kind of ceramics or clay or freeform clay, this is a great thing to make and have in your home. It just, rebirth and birth are like so awesome. Last, because I missed it, is this, an oil. Or, yeah, it looks like an oil. We'll see once I open it, Bob. What is it, Bob? Earthen Alchemy Prosperity Oil, which is what I thought it was. An anointing oil. Okay, so this is an anointing oil. So what I was saying with the candle, you can anoint candles yourself. Any Anything you carry with you, if you have a charm, your car, your home, anything with these things. It's an anointing oil. You're supposed to put it on something else. So, why did they choose it, Bob? Anointing oils are a powerful means of dedicating yourself and your mag magical components with energies corresponding to your intent. This prosperity oil from Earth and Alchemy makes the perfect companion to any spell work or ritual involving financial matters or money-making endeavors. Working 
workings of growth manifestation and success let me tell you what else this does now when we talk about prosperity birth regrowth spring all that i know that there are people out there that have like fertility problems these kind of things are really good also certain runes you can use to help you in uh, fertility problems, things like that, strengthening, because it's all about gaining something. And it doesn't have to be just money. It can be whatever your heart's desire is that you're gaining, okay? So, anointing oil, love it. Lastly, and this is really lastly, I have this, um, it is a prosperity magic corresponding guide so it has all of the information that i've been reading for you for all the different things that you have on here okay now i don't know if there's any spells let's see yes okay there is a spell and i will read it to you because i love their spells okay harvest is high so bear my plea bring bring increased abundance close to me as this candle burns with fire, draw success and fulfill my desires. As this flame melts the wax, may my will manifest the things I lack. With thanks, I banish scarcity. As this burns, so mote it be. We got to do that spell. Let's do that spell really soon. Let's commit. Okay, let's see what we saved. The total manufacturer price of all the items inside was $74.84 if you bought them separate. Total savings on this box, just the items alone, is $24.89. Total shipping savings is $9.90, a grand total in savings of $34.79. Now listen, there is no more waiting on these boxes. They are... You, there is no more waiting list. They redid this so that you guys all can have a box. Use the coupon code Blessed Be for 10% off. Also, they're giving you money off your first box. Absolutely 10% off of anything in the store. And I think it was $14. Was that what it was? I don't know. I'll look it up. I'll put it down below. But you have money off your first box with me if you use my coupon code Blessed Be. Um, and, uh, yeah, th there's no reason not to get these anymore. You've seen the value of them over the course of my magical time. I have so many different ways to go on all this stuff. Look at all that we gained today. We gained, like, so much in one little box. It's amazing. It's amazing. And they're not, like, samples. They're a full thing. They're, they're completely a full thing. So go get your Sabbath box. It makes me happy. It's like Christmas. Uh, if you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life, hit the button down below and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. Thumbs down if you don't. Either way, you're watching me manifest something lovely in your life. If you know it, think, believe it, you can have it too. Like, 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 like a beautiful Sabbath box that's going to draw prosperity into your life and get you to be more magical. It's so much fun, this fun. I love you guys, bye.